and show them what it's like hanging with the boys. Huh? <gasps> Who's the best boy in the whole wide world? <laughs> My boy. My boy. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How big is Lawson? So big. Now get the tickles. Now you get the tickles. Now you get the tickles. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How big is Lawson? So big. Now you get the tickles. Now you get the tickles. <laughs> You're the best boy. Who's the best boy? Who's my best friend? Who's my best friend? Who's me? Me, Papa. Papa's my best friend. You're my best friend. You're my best friend, you little Papa. Woo! Mama's gone. Woo! We became friends first. We fell in love and got married. And now we're starting a family together. Right now I'm actually gonna go over to CBS Interactive because that's where we shoot now in Burbank. I'm in Studio City and just have lunch with some old friends and uh, catch up with them, you know? Gotta keep in touch with contacts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're my friends uh, first and my contacts second. <laughs> They're going to like that when they hear that. Anyways, I'm going to head over there, grab some lunch, and then gra uh, go back and see Lawson and Jordan and maybe hit some yoga later on. Maybe I'll take you on a ride for that. And then uh, then the fun begins, the night shift with Lawson. So I'll show you guys all that later on, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. All right, guys, so I didn't make it out to meet my buddies at CBS for lunch, but I did find someone else I like for lunch, and we came down to the promenade in Santa Monica. Well, look who it is. Hi. And baby Laws. So I don't know if you guys know or not, this isn't every day that I do this, it come down to the promenade for lunch, but if you guys have never seen the promenade before, this is what it, this is what it is, the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica. So that's like the theater we go to, and this is just like a very touristy area. Jordan's just running a coffee bean real fast, we just had lunch around the corner, and then you know what, we might go to Costco. We, we have family stuff to do. I think we're gonna go to Costco and then I gotta get back and do some work with Louie, but uh... Huh? We live at Costco. Yeah, we do live at Costco. You know, we're, we're family now. Costco, Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. <laughs> Alright, well we'll check back with you guys at Costco, but I thought I'd show you a little bit of promenade. Alright, so now we're in Costco. It's tough to navigate sometimes around here. People are crazy, especially when they get out the free samples. Forget about it. People are nuts. But you come to Costco for two things and then you end up with pineapples and stuff. I guess when you have a baby you need diapers, you always need toilet paper, and uh, you always need five pounds of salmon for 20 bucks, why not? But that's it. What else do we need? That chicken, what else? Oh, you know what I do want is some lemonade. You know those little packets? I don't need it. We got enough stuff. I don't even know how we're gonna get this all in the car. But after this, we got to go to the grocery store. Then after the grocery store, I'm going to yoga. Then after yoga, I meet with Louie to work on my reel. And after the reel, and I got lost on all night. So, so far, very exciting day. I wish I had some better stuff for you guys. But it is what it is. This is what I'm doing now. Talking to the camera in front of strangers. <laughs> all right, so we're back in the car. Lawson just went a little bananas, but what are you going to do? That's part of the day. I do want to add something to uh, life's complaint box, though. Put it on the list for today. <laughs> there he goes. Oh my goodness. That's not part of my complaint box. That's just part of life. But there's a lot of problems in the world already, and people write what they want on social media about different things. But what I'm getting at, my whole point in this life complaint box is just return your cart. I hate people. If you do it, I hate you. It, I'm sorry. Return your cart. Put it back in the thing. It takes two steps. You put it back in. Otherwise, they scratch up people's cars. They get all dented. You got to watch out and back into them. People, return your carts. Am I right? Who's with me? Nobody. All right. Well, whatever. All right. So I just got back from yoga, and it's about 6 o'clock, making a little dinner, making a little salmon. About to throw that in the oven. My salmon, super easy. Salt, pepper, garlic, dill, the key ingredient, 
and just some lemon. Costco, boom, got some salmon going. So that's what I love. And little Lawson just woke up. I was talking to him. Oh. I always tell, look at him in the mayor and always tell him how beautiful he is. That's right, hang on. <laughs> he's so Dirty too close. Oh, he's mad. So this is the beginning of the nighttime. We were busy all day, but this starts the night. We're going to feed him now. Oh, Papa. Hi, Papa. No. No, Papa. Look how cute. Look how cute. Mm -hmm. You can't be mad. But I'm not mad because it's only 6 p.m. I think he's got a poopy diaper, too. I think that might be So Mommy's going to change poopy diaper. Hi, baby. Look how he does his chin now. Hi, Papa. He's about to cry. Oh, no. Uh-oh. we got to change you, baby. And then we're going to feed him, put him down, and then, you know, we find something we like on TV that we both like, try to watch that or a movie while he's sleeping, and then it's just... You know, the night will go on. I don't know if you guys saw this yet. This is my little art. This is, these are all the paintings that I've done. Those are like my, those are my paintings. This is my little art studio. He just peed. Oh. Lawson just peed. Oh, man. Dude, I'm out of here. I'm so bad. Good luck with that, Mom. Oh my God, man. Yeah. All right, I think I gotta go. I gotta help out with this. Anyways, yeah, I gotta go. Okay, so crisis averted. Baby Laws is back to normal, huh, buddy? I just fed him. He's all good. Look at his, oh man, I can't believe how much hair he's losing. He looks like Benjamin Button. He's growing, he's starting old and he'll get younger. Huh, Papa? You're beautiful. Jordan went on a little walk. Now it's just the boys hanging out. Like I said, Lawson ate. My food's ready. Like I said, I cooked some salmon. How many times did I say, like I said? Like I said, I cooked some salmon. Boom. Yes, I tried a little piece of the corner in case someone's going to be a smart aleck and say something. But I just did that salmon easy dill. I put it all over the magic ingredient, just a couple mushrooms. Now it's time for E to eat. Lost and relax, maybe throw on some Seinfeld. Who knows, maybe a little Curb Your Enthusiasm. Jordan's gonna get back, shower, relax. We're gonna watch some stuff together. And then the night begins. I take over till like about two in the morning. I'll show you a little bit of that later. And then my night's done. And then Jordan takes over and we do it all again tomorrow. Look who's home. Did you have a good run? Yes, I did. Ooh, want to talk about it? Um, I look like butt, but sure. Mama looks like a stinky butt. Mama has a stinky butt. He didn't like that joke. He was having so much fun until you came in, and then he like got all strict. You so, look good. No, my arms are thin. Jordan's being good. I'm not lying. She's being really good. She's so much better with Coco. Yeah, Coco got that. She's getting strong. We're both. Uh, working out every day. I'm doing that kooky yoga. And I gained two sizes up. I was a size four when I was pregnant. Probably like a six or an eight now. So I'm trying to get back down to a size four. Like I said, I'm 197 right now. I was 206 when I was in Chicago. I'm not even kidding. That's, just, that's huge for me. And I was saying yesterday on Instagram, I was one nine, about 185 on Big Brother. And I have a goal for my birthday, which is June 5th. I want to be 180. So that's 16 more pounds to go. I'm 148 pounds. I was 128 when I started with Lawson. And then um, when I gave birth to Lawson, I was 172. And then now I'm 148. If I would have kept breastfeeding, I think all of it, all the weight would have been off by now. But yeah, but you had a baby. I ate a prosciutto baby in Chicago over the holidays. But you're a guy. You lose weight faster. Papa, we look good. We look good, Papa, right? Yeah. Say, yeah, I look good, Papa. Does Papa look good? Give me some of that Papa love. Give me some of that Papa love. Yeah, give me some of that Papa love. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at my two lovies. Look at my two lovies. All right, that's enough. Why do you got to talk like that all the time? Okay, bye. We'll see you later. All right, guys, it's like 1 o'clock. 
This is when Lawson usually wakes up for the first time around now. So usually like around now, 1.30, I feed him. Like around 1, 1 1.30, he'll get up. I'll feed him. What's up, buddy? <laughs> and then uh, around 3.30, 4, he'll get up again. Uh, somewhere around there. Usually it's like every three hours. So that's still where he's at every three hours. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so that's it. And then usually that's when me and Jordan will switch off, like around 3.30 or 4, that feeding. I'll stay up. I actually fell asleep now. But uh, I just woke up to feed him a little bit. But that's it. And then we, you know, kind of pass in the night at, at like 3.30, 4. In the bedroom, he starts crying, and then one of us will just come out here and feed him. And that's pretty much it. That's how one of the days roll. I know you guys saw Jordan do it. Um, we're going to wake up one more time. I mean, I could sh show you guys, but it's not really necessary. And that's how we do. That's what happens when you have a kid, especially in the very beginning. What happens next? I don't know. Hopefully he starts sleeping through the night. And, uh, you know, we start sleeping through the night, and I think everything will get a little bit easier. But as far as that goes, I think, I think it already is getting a little easier. Each stage... You know, you're not sure what to expect, but it gets always, it's always a little better. So right now I think Jordan's adjusting. I'm adjusting. It's still hard, but, you know, it's part of what you got to do. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the whole day. I know it's been a long day. I wish it was more exciting. I wish I could bring you guys on set and show you guys uh, some other stuff. But as the weeks go on, I'm sure some other opportunities will arise where, uh, where I could bring you around and show you behind the scenes of different things. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. So thanks for watching. As always, keep writing in. Subscribe. Tell a friend. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on Jeff and Jordan TV. Have a good one, guys. Good night, baby loves. Okay, real fast while we walk back to the car. We just had lunch at uh, Tinder Greens, right? Yeah. So Tinder Greens, I don't know if you guys have ever been there. It's like a healthy place. I love it. But you just grab your food and you go. They don't serve it to you or anything. But then when you pay, they ask you for a tip. Okay, and then you're writing the thing out. Of course, you gotta leave like a dollar or two just to give to them, you know what I mean? Because you're standing there and you don't wanna be embarrassed. Then I go to get a coffee, I put my thing in. You wanna tip five, 10, 15, or 20%? Dude, you're giving me a coffee. Why do I need to tip everybody all the time? That guy, he wants a tip too, he's singing. No tip for that guy, but I had to tip everybody else today. <laughs> right? Is it tipping getting out of controls or just me?